All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to utilize the FOSS position method in Excel. And here we have our iterative formula, or the formula we're gonna to use to calculate the, the um, root of the function here. And here is the function that we're gonna solve for the root. And first, we have to make a table here. So I recommend you make this table first. I've made it so we can start. And we start with our first iteration. So the, our first row of iterations, and here, a and B resemble our uh, two initial guesses that we have for the root of the function. And I've done this problem before, so I know that the um, appropriate guesses or the correct guesses should be 0 0.5 and 1. And I'll show you why these guesses um, are appropriate for this problem, because you cannot necessarily choose very random uh, initial guesses. And so here we have to first um, evaluate this function with A. So basically just replace all the x's in this function with um, a here. So we just do a raised to three minus seven times a raised to two plus 14 times a minus six. And for fb, we do the same thing. We replace all the x's here with our b value, but just to save time, just um, command c or control c this, uh, copy this and paste it here. And as you can see, it's the same thing, but all the um, X's are just replaced with the B value. And so before you move on to the um, step of calculating the XK value or our next um, X guess, we have to make sure that these uh, two evaluations at FA and FB have different signs. And here we have negative 0.625 and we have positive two, which means that they have two um, different signs. One's negative, one's positive. If you get that with your initial guesses, you can proceed. But if you have if you choose initial guesses and when you evaluate FA and FB and they have both the same sign, meaning they are either both positive or both negative, you cannot proceed yet. So let's say, for example, this is 0.51. As you can see, they're both negative, right? And when that happens, you have to choose a different initial guess until one or the other have different signs. So with one, you're right, you can see that this is negative, this is positive. So you can proceed now to the XK step. And basically the step is to find um, the second guess for the um, root of this function by using this formula here, the false position method formula. And it's just um, basically copy pasting this. So we have A times FB, right? So we have A times FB minus B times FA. So we just do that. And that's the top row basically divided by FB here, right? FB minus FA, so FB minus FA. So once you do that, you get this. And for the error, just leave it blank first. And moving on to our second row of iteration, so this is our second row. Our A here is always gonna be the XK we just got. So always copy this down here like that. And B, again, depends on, on um, this value here and when you evaluate FA. As you can see here, FA is positive, right? So this FB has to be negative. So where do we get the value for B? It's either from this or this. So your, for, uh, so your two initial guesses on top here. And let's say we choose one first, right? Um, let's see. Let's see uh, what one gives when we, when we evaluate FB here. We get two, and two is positive. This is also positive, right? So this won't work. So one is definitely not our second B value. We change this with 0 0.5, let's see. And here, we get negative 0 0.625, which means that 0 0.5 should be chosen for this value here. So afterwards, we can just drag this down and then calculate the error, which is just the absolute value of this, of this xk here minus this xk here. From here, we can just drag the whole thing down here. And um, once you start getting div zeros, you know you're basically done. And um, from here, we can see that the XK value actually right here stops changing, right? So it just stops at um, 0 0.5878644. And it's always the same, even if you go drag it down. So we know that this is the root of the function. So that's basically it for the video. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Thank you.